Hey guys, uh, welcome to my next episode in my Music for All Abilities uh, video series. This series is for everybody out there. Um, today we're going to be singing intervals. Uh, feel free to use whatever you want. So we're going to be singing up to two notes at a time. So you can sing las, oos, ahs, or the numbers. Um, if you don't want to sing or don't have the ability, we can just listen to how they sound and how they relate to songs that we know. All right, so today I have a piano. And we're going to sing... Uh, so interval. So what is an interval? That's what we're going to start with. So let's just talk about um, the C major scale. So it starts with the note C, then it goes to D, then it goes to E, then it goes to F, and then it goes to G, then it goes to A, then it goes to B, and then it goes to C. Because remember, our musical alphabet is A, B, C, D, E, F, G. After G, we go back to A. So we'll stay with the C, C major scale. C will be our starting note. We are going to sing some chromatic intervals as well. So it's not going to all uh, be in C major. But we'll start there for simplicity's sake. All right, and we're only going to go up, so a note that goes like this. Do, re, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. All right, so let's start with the first interval, which is two notes right next to each other. So it's C. And then we'll just say C sharp. I'm going to use numbers. One, two. Let's try it one more time. You can sing with me. That's what's called dissonant, because the notes are right next to each other. But what song does that sound like? If you guess Jaws, you'd be right. I'm play it down here. Minor second. It's called a minor second. And it's Jaws. All right, easy enough. Let's try the next one. This is a major second. Major second. I'll use the numbers one, two again. One, two. Let's try it one more time. Sing with me. One, two. What song does that sound like? Excuse me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Very good. Major second or happy birthday. All right, so here's the next one. Sing it with me. We'll use numbers. One, two. Oh, Canada. 
I live in New York. I might as well be Canadian. Oh, Canada. For minor third. Pretty cool. The songs help you remember what the interval is. So when you're listening to music, you might be sitting there listening, you know, oh, you hear a couple notes. Oh, that sounds like happy birthday. You know? And that's what interval uh, training is good for. All right, so let's try our next one. That was a minor third. Canada. What do you think the next one's going to be called? We had a minor second, a major second, minor third, major third. Which is the note C, E that I'm playing, but it could be any scale. I'm still going to use the numbers 1, 2, just to keep it simple. 1, 2, 1, 2, major, third, sing with me. sounds happy-ish as opposed to that's why we call this a major third and this a minor third now what song is this Next one is the note C to F. Let's hear how that sounds. It's got a major kind of sound to it. We're going to call this a perfect fourth. Because F is four notes away from C. C, T, E, F. And we call it perfect. Let's sing that. Well, you still use one, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Sing with me. song is that? Here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. It's a perfect fourth. So we have minor second, Jaws, major second, whoops, sorry, happy birthday, minor third, Oh, Canada, major third, perfect fourth, and this next one is a weird one. It's kind of distant, right? We're going to call that a tritone.
dissonant as opposed to more. It sounds tense. All right, now let's go to the next one. We'll call this a perfect fifth, and it's the note C to G, or C, D, E, F, G. We call that a perfect fifth. And we can sing it. La, la, or ooh, ooh. Or we can use the numbers one and two just to keep it simple. One, two. Sing with me. One, two. What song do you think this is? Banner, banner. Star Wars or Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. So when you hear a perfect fifth, you can think Star Wars or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. All right, now we'll go to our next one. So we had two, or sorry, second, third, fourth, fifth. What do you think's next? Sixth. Minor sixth. Let's sing it. La, 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 la. I can sing the, the numbers one, two. Minor six, minor six. All right, so we have the next one, which is C to A. We'll call that a major sixth. Major sixth. Or the numbers one, two. What song do you think that one is? NBC. If you watch NBC, NBC or Major Sixth. So when you hear this. C. You can think MBC. All right. Now let's go to our next one. C to B flat. Or minor seventh. This is a minor seventh. That one's a Ford commercial. Have you driven a Ford lately? Have you driven a Ford lately? So you can remember that little jingle every time you hear these intervals. 
minus 7. All right, and then the last one, well, we'll do two more. Is C to B. C to B. I just think of this as going back to Do. Major seven. And the last one is an octave. So it goes C, C. So when you hear one note that's lower, the next note that's higher, you can think of somewhere over the rainbow. Somewhere over the rainbow, somewhere. And that is the whole scale on intervals. So we have C, and we'll say, I, I'm going to correct something I previously said, which was wrong, because you always use one letter name to the next letter name. So a minor second would be C to D flat. A major second would be C to D. A minor third would be C to E flat. A major third would be C to E. A perfect fourth would be C to F. And then a tritone would be C to G flat or F sharp. Perfect fifth would be C to G. A minor sixth would be C to A flat. And a major sixth would be C to A. A minor seventh would be C to B flat. And then a major seventh would be C to B. And then an octave would be C to C. Thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow.